Thanks for tuning in to Crokinole Center. It's down to the final as Nathan Walsh and John Conrad are here to contest the Turtle Island Championship match for 2017. John Conrad gets the match started up with that open 20. Nathan Walsh's response bounces just out. And Conrad now will likely look to roll away. And he does right to the edge of the board. Great shot from Conrad there. Walsh tried to roll in there, just caught a peg. Conrad drags that one, makes a nice contact. Walsh is going to have to really work to get back into the middle. Conrad sticks another one. Walsh, I think, has tried to hide his last couple discs, just hit him too hard, and that one, he went for the 20 and couldn't get it. Conrad sticks that one nicely. Let's see if Walsh can pull it back off a peg. He resets. Oh, and he scores the 20, a fabulous shot from Nathan Walsh to level the 20 count at one apiece. Conrad's shot there comes up short. Walsh sliding to the right to take this, and he gets a really strong roll out there. Conrad peels. So Nathan Walsh left with an open shot. He has the hammer, and he scores the 20 to guarantee a point. Last shots each. Conrad makes his. Walsh in the house for two, and he scores the 20. So a strong come from behind two points there. Nathan Walsh starts out the match strong with a hold on his hammer. As we see this excellent shot that got Walsh back into the round. Coming off a of peg, it looked almost too far back. Fantastic shot. Walsh sets up to start round two and leaves a hanger. Conrad scores the 20 and gets the takeout as well. Critical. Walsh responds in turn. Conrad setting up his defensive shot. And he may have let that one roll a little long. Let's see what Walsh can do with this. Oh, he nearly got it to go off a peg. Great shot from Nathan Walsh. Conrad tried to score off the hanger, but he couldn't get it to go. So Nathan Walsh, without the hammer, is facing two opponent discs. It's a tall order. Oh, uh, he tried to score a 20 there, but lost his shooter. So Conrad's going to slide to the left here to try to hide his disc. That one ran a little away from him, but I think it's still in a decent spot. Walsh trying a tough follow-through here. He hit that with altogether too much pace. Conrad gets a long takeout to stick. Walsh could see a double, perhaps, but he jammed it. So John Conrad is in a solid position as he makes that takeout stick. Don't really see a double off of this, so it's just... Trying to hide a shot for Nathan Walsh, as he played that pretty well. Conrad through the pegs, gets the peel, great shot. Nathan Walsh doesn't really matter much here. He just tries to put it in a tough spot, which looks like he has. He got Conrad to fake at that a couple times. And Conrad, with that takeout, has secured two points. He matches Walsh's feet and levels the match at two points. Both players had a strong start to this Crokinole season, as Nathan Walsh opened up the year with a World Doubles victory with Claire Kipfer, and John Conrad made it all the way to the World Final, but unfortunately lost an excellent match in three sets to Robert Bonnet. But both players now are looking to claim that first singles title of 2017, and the round is underway here, Walsh on the hammer. He's going to have a couple discs on the board, but this is in a nice spot for Conrad. He could score a slider 20, and it goes just over the hole. Walsh, probably to hit and stick, and it jams off a peg. An unforced error there by Nathan Walsh. Conrad brings his disc into the 15. Shot. Nathan Walsh scores a great follow-through 20 to get onto the board first in this round. Conrad with an open shot, and it skips over the hole. So Walsh, despite two opponent discs on the board, has the 20 and a big advantage there as he pulls that disc, disc back off a peg. Conrad floats that little takeout shot. And Walsh gets rid of that disc in the 15. Conrad tried to push it off a peg, but he lost it to the outside. Walsh could double these off if he wants to, but he's not going for it. 
And that's another unforced error from Nathan Walsh. John Conrad has another open shot here. Oh, and he's blown it right past the hole. So Walsh does a little mental math and then makes an easy takeout to claim a 4-2 advantage in this final match. We see this fantastic follow through 20 from Nathan Walsh that gave him the advantage in the round. That was all he needed and he held on for the rest. He will start off round four. Against the hammer, he opens with a 20. Conrad, the response, and he gets it to go. Walsh scores for 2-1. Conrad responds, some strong 20 shooting to open this fourth round. Walsh goes 3-2 in front, and Conrad missed that one, but it's on the good side of the board. Walsh pushed that to the right. It's a decent shot, but Conrad makes an excellent slider 20 to level the round at 3. Halfway through, and Nathan Walsh scores to make it 4-3. Conrad blows that one past the hole again. So if Nathan Walsh can pull this one back, he'll be in a strong position. No, he's given a 20 back to John Conrad, and now... It is all to Conrad. As he makes a strong take out there, Walsh could see a ricochet 20 off of this one. Oh, he nearly got it. But he's left a hanger for Conrad. Can he convert to take a lead? And he doesn't get it to go. So as the round winds down, Walsh could see another 20 here. He takes the trickier route, and it bounces out. Unlucky for Nathan Walsh. Conrad the takeout for the win, and he gets it to go. Great shooting there, as John Conrad levels this match four points apiece. Today's match is in a race format, as opposed to the World Final, which consists of a best of three games format. The first player to reach 11 points will be crowned the Turtle Island champion this year. And John Conrad has started out this fifth round with a 20. Nathan Walsh's response comes up just shy. Conrad, looking for a takeout 20, and he gets it to go. For a 220 advantage, Walsh reduces it to one. Conrad, playing with the lead now, will go for his patented defensive shot. Comes off a couple pegs and he's left it a bit close. Walsh could see a slider, and he gets it to go. Great shot. Conrad now, to keep the pressure on, just long. John Conrad looks to be having some trouble finding his range. Walsh there lost his shooter and gave Conrad another opportunity, and he won't miss two in a row. It's 3-2 to John Conrad. Walsh scores another one to level the round. Conrad blasts one in. And Walsh keeps up the pace. 4-4 in the 20s. Conrad makes another one. Walsh is level to the task. Last shots each in this round, and Conrad scores a point guaranteed. Walsh to steal one. He gets it. Six, six in the 20s, an excellent round of shots there, as this championship match remains tied five points apiece. Walsh opens up round six, scoring a 20. Conrad responds in turn. Walsh now. Sees that one skip just beyond the hole. Conrad tries to roll away, but he's left it on Walsh's side. Walsh tried to force that one in, couldn't get it to go. Conrad sticks that one back. It could see a ricochet off a of peg here. Just not enough weight on that one. And Conrad holds it back nicely. Walsh perhaps brings it off a peg and scores a beautiful 20 to take a 2-1 to one advantage. Conrad's going to need this one. He gets the open shot to go. 2-2. Two, two. Walsh gets his open shot to drop. And so does John Conrad. It's 3-3. Three, three. Nathan Walsh with this shot. And he's left that one well short of the hole. Barely into the 15, even. Conrad sticks that one. Walsh is going to need a follow-through. Last shots each. 
Oh, and he gets it to go off a peg. Fantastic shot. Can't call it intentional. But it's won him two points against the hammer. Nathan Walsh goes 7-5 to five in front. And Nathan Walsh was very impressive in that round as we see him score that tricky 20 off the peg. And then this one. He hit it with enough pace that it came off a far peg and sailed straight back into the hole. Fantastic shot. Conrad now just trying to get back into a rhythm. He scores a 20 to open up this, this round. And Walsh has gone long. So Conrad with an early advantage. See if he can hold on to it. He may have left that a little bit close. This is doable, and it's bounced out of the hole for Nathan Walsh, unlucky. Conrad slides all the way over to the left for this. Can't get the 20 to go, so another tricky follow-through shot for Nathan Walsh if he wants to get back into this round. He chooses just to stick that one. Well, he, his facial expressions didn't make it seem like that was intentional. Oh, and Walsh makes another excellent follow-through 20 to level the round at one apiece. Conrad, his response bounces out. So the advantage swinging hard to Nathan Walsh in this round and in this match. But that one's left a bit close. Conrad could see a little touch 20. Moving right down to it. Three shots left for each player. And Conrad gets the 20 to go. A great shot. Walsh is going to need this one to drop. And it does. 2-2. Two, two. This would be a big round for Walsh to win with the hammer. Conrad, seeing his options run a little bit dry here. Perhaps looking to hide a disc, try to force an error. I think he played to follow through and it didn't quite go. I don't think it was really there. Walsh has left that one a bit. It, there is an angle. It's a tough shot, and Conrad gets it to go. Fantastic slider. Walsh, though, needing this open 20 to secure a point, and it doesn't drop. So after stealing two points against the hammer, Walsh has let it come right back as this match is level at seven points apiece. Four points is all that separates these two men now from a Turtle Island Championship. And Nathan Walsh scores the 20. Conrad responds in turn. Walsh has left that one well short of the hole. And Conrad makes a good strong takeout. Walsh lining up another follow through, and he gets it to go. Nathan Walsh is really just absolutely nailing these follow through shots. John Conrad scores the 20, though, to keep the pressure on. Walsh sent that one just long. Conrad's going to need a follow through of his own. And he's rolled it away a bit. It's well stuck on that peg. But Nathan Walsh gets it to go. Oh, and Conrad loses that disc onto Walsh's side of the board. So Walsh could try to force him into making some tricky shots here. He tried to cozy one up to a peg. And he hit the peg he was looking for. Bounces it back. This one, Walsh could see a long slider 20. And he gets it to go. Great shot for 3-2. Conrad scores his. Walsh. Last shots each. To secure a point and he gets it. 4-3. Conrad to tie and it's just long. Three straight steals of two points have put Nathan Walsh 9-7 ahead. And now this is a big round. John Conrad needs to win or tie here to extend the match. He started it off by going just long. Walsh. Just protect the lead. He's got to stick it back, and he does. Really well-placed shot there, right up against that back peg. Hard to move that disc, even. Conrad went for the touch 20 and didn't get it to go. Didn't move the red disc, either. Walsh's takeout sticks there. Oh, Conrad gives a 20 to Nathan Walsh, and that could be critical. If Walsh can get rid of that black disc without moving his red one on the board, he's going to have a big, big swing. The two players having a bit of a laugh there, showing that even at the tensest of moments, there can still be some, some laughter in this game. Oh no, and Conrad gives another one to Walsh. It's 2-0, or he could have seen 20s either way on both of those shots. 
Walsh moves his one peg disc, but it's a 220 advantage for him. And this is a very enviable position. Conrad loses a shooter there, and this is all but over, even halfway through the round. Conrad's going to try to make the best of it, though. As he jams another disc. Goodness. Walsh scores the open 20. And it's not going to matter very much as this, this round is over and the match is won. The last shots go away and Nathan Walsh has ended the drought. He has won the 2017 Turtle Island title, beating John Conrad 11-7 in a thrilling final match. With two wins on the season, Nathan Walsh sits atop the NCA standings, eight points clear of John Conrad and Ray Beerling in second. For Crokinole Center, I am Connor Reinland, signing off.